Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the vanishing point filter in Photoshop. So let's get started. So I'm going to use an example to show you. So I have taken this image, which is uh, which I downloaded from pexels.com. You can simply search on pexels or unsplash.com. You can use a similar image. It doesn't have to be the exactly same can use similar image now I want to make a mock-up so for that I'm going to create a blank layer using the layers panel so this is the blank layer and this is very important that you use the filter the vanishing point filter on a blank layer otherwise our result won't be that good so after that uh, simply go to filter vanishing point because first we need to create a plane using this create plane tool which which has shortcut key c now when we are creating the first plane that is very important because once now we are going to extend the same plane so make sure that the plane that you created first is pretty much accurate otherwise we cannot alter that plane once we extend that plane so make sure that it is usable reasonably good now if i want to extend this particular section just uh, simply press ctrl or if you are using mac command press and hold ctrl and co or command and simply drag using left click release now adjust the plane accordingly now once we have extended the plane we cannot alter this particular plane we can alter this area but we cannot alter this area over here so that's why we need to make sure that this area is properly adjusted so we can adjust this area but not this now again it doesn't have to be 100 percent accurate make sure that it is as accurate as possible now again we need to extend this one so press and hold control or command again and drag so this is how it looks if you are not happy with the results i am going to press undo control z or command z so i will slightly extend this outward again control or command and drag it so this is this is not 100 percent correct but looks reasonably good now press ok so this plane is created on this blank layer now choose the design so i'm choosing this uh, wrapping paper gift wrapping paper so select all select all copy ctrl c copy and go to the filter again filter vanishing point and paste it using ctrl v or command v now using the transform tool change the size accordingly it automatically snaps to the plane and as you can see the same image is extending to the other side now do it accordingly extend so this looks pretty good to me now press ok now we are not done yet because this isn't looking realistic so that's why we created this blank layer so that we can use the blending options so now go to the blending options and choose multiply now as you can see the the shadow is visible and it is looking much more realistic you can choose multiply or linear burn linear burn gives you a darker version but i am happy with the multiply filter or blending option so this is how we can create realistic mockups using vanishing point in photoshop so this is before and this is after you can use it to create some different things as well but in this particular example to begin with i have shown you how to create a mock-up using the vanishing point so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers